One of the most common mistakes when working horizontal alignment problems is, is related to the stationing, and we're going to focus on that in this video. And for the proper stationing, if we're looking for the point of tangency, the station of the point of tangency, that's equal to the PI minus the tangent length T plus the length of the curve L. And what this will do is this puts us along the center line of the roadway, along the curve, and we'll see how this plays out and how it relates to our alignment and following the center line of the actual roadway. So here's our preliminary traverse, and we're starting at station 10, and we're going to move along in increasing stations, and we're going to reach our first point of intersection. And at that point of intersection, we're going to turn from our back tangent to the forward tangent with an intersecting angle to the left. And we can measure the distance from our beginning point at station 10 to our first PI. And if that was 2,000 feet or 20 stations, we're going to come up with station 30 for that point of intersection. Now, as we're determining our curve parameters, we got to recall, again, we're still in a preliminary traverse, so we're only dealing with tangents right now, but we're going to want to do our stationing along the curves. We want to stay along the center line of the roadway. That's where, that's the meaningful, meaningful values that we have so that when we reach the end of this full alignment, we'll have the distance of our roadway. If we follow the, the preliminary traverse the whole way, it doesn't match up with your center line of the roadway. So we need to make sure that we follow the center line of the roadway, which means that we follow the curve. And the station of the PT is then going to equal, because we just measured the PI. So we're going to start from that PI. We're going to subtract off the tangent length and then add the length of the curve to find that station of the PT. So here's our curve. This, the simple arc connects, smoothly connects those tangents, the back tangent and the forward tangent. We've got several parameters that define this curve. We've got the point of curvature. This is where we leave the tangent and then move along the length of the curve. And then we'll arrive at the PT as we move along that length of curve to return back to the tangent. Now it's geometrically correct that the distance from the PI to the PC is the length T tangent, and also from the PI to the PT is the length T tangent. And that's because we have a, a simple arc of a curve here. But for stationing purposes, again, we need to move along the center of the line, center of the roadway. So we want to move from our PI to our PC, and that's a distance T. So we're going to subtract off T from our PI stationing. We're going to then move along the length of the curve L until we reach our PT. So that's that's the way the stationing is, is going to look. We're going from our PI, subtracting off T, adding L. Now, as we move along this, this preliminary traverse, we can measure the distance from our PT to our next point of intersection. And if we measure that distance from that PT to our next PI, we're going to get station 50. And again, this is a hypothetical example, but we can, this is how we would move along this alignment. From there, we have a smooth curve that's going to connect our two tangents. And it's similar, it's going to have a PC and it's going to have a PT. We move along the center line of the roadway. When we reach the PC, we're going to be curving the length of the curve L. To find that stationing, we're going to start with that, that PI of, of our second curve. We're going to move back. We're going to subtract off our tangent length T, and then we're going to move along the length of the curve L to reach our PT. So let's put in some, some hypothetical values here. Let's assume that the tangent length is 500 feet, and the length of the curve is 1,200. So as we move from our PI to the PC, we're going to subtract off that 500, so we're going to get a station for the PC of 45. And then as we move along the length of the curve, 1,200 feet, that means we're going to have a PC of 57. So again, hypothetical values. We need to, to move from our PI to the PC to establish the PT. And therefore, we don't need the distances along those preliminary traverses anymore. And we actually see that if we kept this value, 
we would have multiple stations with the same value because we've got this PI at station 50, but clearly if we've got a PC at 45 and a PT at 57, station 50 has to happen somewhere on our curve. So this means we cannot use that stationing of 50 there. It's not on our curve. It's not an actual value we're gonna use. We really would like to, and when we're, when we're done, this does not get designed. Our preliminary traverse does not get built. Nothing gets built there. We're only moving along our lengths of curves when we're having curves. We're not moving along that tangent section. There's no roadway point at the PI. We're moving along the length of curves. So this is, again, hopefully helping illustrate why it's important to move along the center line of the roadway. We're avoiding that preliminary traverse. We're using our curves to build our roadway, and that's the center line that moves along. And so if you were driving on this road, starting at station 10, our beginning point, and then ending at the PT of this curve, we're gonna have traveled 47 stations. So that equals 4,700 feet. And that's the center line distance. We don't move along our tangent distance. The vehicle, the driver is gonna move along the center line of the roadway. And so what we're actually gonna have is a center line length that represents our stationing, not along that preliminary traverse. And so if we were to show this, move away from some of the, the, the busyness of the last diagram and actually show what that alignment would look like. So the stationing is representing this line in red here. So we're going along for curve number one and then curve number two, and that's gonna take us throughout that final alignment. This is what the road that you're designing would actually look like. So again, our stationing, if we're looking for the PT is equal to the PI, we're gonna subtract off that tangent length. We're gonna go back to establish the station of the PC, and then we're gonna move along the length of the curve to reach the PT at this point. So these are our, our key points, an example of how to illustrate and how to think about the stationing for a simple horizontal curve.